Hey, Gary McIntyre and Susan Kirkland here. We're going to take you through uh, when things go uh, when good things go bad in West Coast Swing. So we talked a lot about patience. Uh, for example, when we when we go through a pattern, and if we lose hands in that pattern, and we lose hands, we talk about being patient, being clear with your intent to what you need. I want this hand. I want that hand. Asking, not panicking when you come out of the pattern, when things, when, when something goes wrong in the dance, but not freaking out and trying to collect and start doing a triple, but just calmly stand there, get a hand, restart, and go into the next pattern. So when that pattern goes well, it's great, the pattern goes well, but when it doesn't go well, patterns like that, or even like say, uh, we talked about a duck in the pattern and losing the contact with it, followers always keeping your feet underneath you, making sure that you feel comfortable, for uh, supporting yourself, we always say, we always joke and say, don't don't trust men; they, they're not to hold you up. Always put your foot underneath yourself and always catch yourself. So when we we had that trouble again in that situation with the, with the duck, we if we lose contact, we don't panic again. Score up, ask for the hand, find that odd number in the music again, and, and get back on beat. Yes, that was really what we talked about in the class was just structuring that kind of making sure that you're patient and and you're not going to freak out too much when you when you get into a situation where. The partner, you lose contact with your partner, you get a visual connection, find the visual connection with, with each other, offer a hand, whatever it is, and then go into the next pattern and start all over again. And just be patient, as I always say. Dance Jam Productions.